Hi Church, uh, my name's Keith, I'm one of the pastors here at this Church and uh, it's great to be with you and um, to look at God's Word together. Um, I've got my two things that I need, my uh, trusty old Bible and a brew, a cup of tea. And um, I know it's funny isn't it, a lot of people can't start the day without a brew or a coffee and uh, the thought of that would be shocking but uh, I'm glad that you're choosing to uh, put God's word in your day as a, a staple, a, um, a prerequisite for um, a great day. So I'm really pleased that you're with us. I just want to share a little bit uh, about a verse that's really sticking in my head at the moment. And um, it's from Mark chapter 10 and verse 46 to 52. And um, it's the story of blind Bartimaeus. Uh, that was his nickname um, descriptive word that he was uh, blind uh, but known to his mates to the people of Jericho as blind Bartimaeus let me just read this um, then they came to Jericho as Jesus and his disciples together with a large crowd were leaving the city a blind man Bartimaeus and uh, that is the son of Timaeus was sitting by the roadside begging and when he heard that Jesus of Nazareth was there, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and said, call him. So they called the blind man. Cheer up, on your feet, he's calling you. Hmm. Nice way of saying it. Um, and throwing his cloak aside, he jumped to his feet and came to Jesus. And this is the verse I want us to think about today. Jesus then said, what do you want me to do for you? Kind of an obvious question, I'm sure. Blind Bartimaeus, his issue is right there in his name. But Jesus still asks the words, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man said, Rabbi, I want to see. Go, said Jesus, your faith has healed you. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. And I just, I can't get past that question. What do you want me to do for you? Isn't it obvious? Jesus, why did you ask that question? And I just, I think it's a word for some of us today that actually we can find our identity sometimes in uh, issues or in the labels that other people have put upon us or the hurts that other people have given us and it's relatively comfortable that Bartimaeus would have been known as the blind man that was how people referred to him and you know as part of his daily routine was this begging and and dealing with his issue that was part of his life and yet he came to this moment of decision like do you want to give lordship to Jesus do you want to hand over this issue to Jesus or do you like the familiarity of it and the the understanding of it and the walking in it and it was this moment what do you want me to do for you and um it's amazing that jesus said his faith uh, is what's healed you not jesus's faith but bartimaeus's faith and it's not the faith of wanting to get better i'm sure for however long bartimaeus had this ailment this um issue that needed solving like I'm sure he wanted it to come uh, to be better to be healed to to be able to see but it's not until he brought his issue to Jesus he allowed Jesus to speak into that issue and bring bring his issues to make it subservient to Jesus to make Jesus allow Jesus to be Lord of his life that his faith was what brought his healing and so I really feel that challenge for us today church um, what do you want Jesus to do for you and whatever that might be are you prepared to invite Jesus into that situation maybe it's a relationship that is um, that needs restoring maybe it's a financial situation uh, I don't know um, maybe it's a thought pattern in our hearts, uh, in our minds that we, we can't get beyond. And I feel like Jesus is saying to us today, what do you want me to do? 
And in answering that question, are you prepared to invite Jesus into that situation? Are you prepared to invite Jesus into your thought patterns? Are you prepared to invite Jesus into um, that relationship, that situation, and truly make him Lord of your life in that area? And I know that if you've got the faith to truly let him in, then I know that he'll heal you uh, in that situation. So I'm going to pray for that for us today, church, um, that as we have faith to invite Jesus into our situation, that he'll bring healing and um, uh, people will hear and see to the testimony of the healing in our life, the breakthrough in our situations, that we can tell of the, the Lordship of Jesus that brought this about. Uh, in combination with our faith. Um, so, Jesus, I pray that we will be uh, men and women of faith that will trust you and put our situation into your hand. And uh, I thank you for the breakthrough that is coming and the testimony that's coming of people um, walking in that breakthrough. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, church. Walk in faith. Uh, and answer the question, what do you want Jesus to do for you?